The day after Yom Atzma'ut, I'm on my way to Canyon Hadar, Hadar Mall in South Jerusalem, where I'm picking up for the first time ever a uh, package I ordered from the internet from one of the self-service lockers here in Israel. These are not new, they've been around for a couple of years, but it's the first time I've ever had something that I uh, bought online sent to them. Um, I buy quite a bit of stuff online, for the most part related to camera and video gear. So it's probably going to be pretty intense security at the mall today because unfortunately yesterday three people were um, three people were killed in a terrorist attack in the central Israeli city of El Ad. Uh, so there's currently a manhunt underway, a national manhunt to apprehend the terrorists. Not that picking up online orders is some kind of great act of heroism on my part, but I think that's the response that Israelis always do is you just gotta, within reason, continue your daily routine and not allow your daily life to be uh, disrupted because that's what they want. So coming into Hadar Mall now, which is a kind of slightly, not the mall itself, but Talpiot I feel like is kind of a slightly bleak, depressing place, usually associated with industry, industry in Jerusalem. But the city has plans to make it into something a bit more vibrant, like a South Jerusalem urban center. So let's go and check out the Israeli equivalent of Amazon Locker. Okay, I'm on the second uh, floor here of Hadar Mall and uh, right next to this kind of children's play center we have this delightful looking uh, locker saying e-post, very hard to miss, big flashy uh, orange font this notification it gives me a code for the locker um, and I'm going to see how this works so the Hebrew here says hello visitor, please enter the code to receive your uh, package. I'm just going to go ahead now and enter my code. 647. I'm going to hit this button now that says open locker. And boom. Locker number 66 has popped open for me automatically. And I guess I just closed my locker. So that was pretty seamless compared to going to a post office or going to uh you know um something else like this so it's called epochs it did send the notification you need to pick it up from a locker within three business days 72 hours they return it i'm not sure how strict they are excited about this it worked really well and these are the changes that might not seem that you know groundbreaking or whatever but they're uh, the postal service is one of the things in israel that's traditionally not been so great and these are all the many little day-to-day -day advances that make living here slightly better so that was a good experience and uh, I'd imagine I'll be picking up many more packages from the e-post locker in this location.